how are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. And this will be for my cancers. And this will be for the week of the 22nd through the 28th of March. Hope you guys had a great week. My week has been good. Um, my brother is staying here. Um, he is almost, uh, well, I can't say almost. He's got a lot of stuff. Um, so he's moving things in little by little. So he's not quite all moved in, um, but he's getting there. So, and my week has been good. Uh, I'm coming down with a cold though. So, um, if I'm coughing or whatever stuffy, um, that's what it is. Either allergies or something. Every year around this time, I start to get a cold and cough and stuffy and so I'm not sure sure what that, that is all about all right let's give these two more shuffles and we'll get on with your reading let's see what's going on with my cancers okay angels guides and spirits what is it that my cancers need to know for the week of the 22nd to the 28th, please. Oh. Cards are flying out. One more. Okay. Let's see what's going on. First cards are your inner influences. These are the cards that are closest to you right now. Or the cards that are very, very close to coming in. Nine of hearts. This is the ship. Okay, this is riches. You're going to gain riches through um, an inheritance, wealth through inheritance, or a trade industry. So, um, working with your hands, doing something along that nature, um, you know, or, uh, it, you know, that, that, that trade, that industry of working with those hands, getting those hands dirty, um, you'll be getting some riches through that. It can also mean a voyage of some sort. So you may be going on a voyage um, or something to do uh, with a boat, um, something to do with water. So there's something there, a voyage that you're going down um, to do with boat, water, uh, something along the aspects. The Jack of Spades is the Shepherd. This is an intense love of life. You love life. Um, and you have a strong feeling towards uh, people. Um, you care a lot about people. You have a lot of emotions uh, towards other people, which is a great thing to have. Three of Hearts. This is the Sun. Okay. This is uh, happiness. Happiness and popularity are there for you. So that is awesome. Nine of clubs is the park. A new love is very near. Um, and it's going to be in a uh, park type setting outside. Um, uh, it could be outside. It could be amongst trees. It could be along a path. It could be amongst a bench of some sort. Uh, you know, uh, grass. You know, something outdoors. Um, you will meet this person. The ring. This is, uh, you're going to meet the right person. They're going to be the one that is going to be uh, to your highest hopes. It's a rich and a happy marriage indicates. Um, and it is uh, it's wonderful. 
Wonderful, wonderful. King of Clubs is the bear. You're going to have success, a motherly success, a loving success, a caring success. That's um coming into you. That's awesome. The Seven of Hearts. This is the stork, and this is a change of your residence for the better. Okay, um, it's going to happen sooner or later, and uh, it is going to be great. Um, it's going to be uh, so much better than where you were. So um, it can be you moving out, somebody moving in, um, but something to your residence, um, you know, is go going to be changing. It can also mean um, that uh, you may have some home renovations of some sort coming in. The five of diamonds. Where you're at right now is where you should be. Okay, don't change jobs, don't move. Um, things successful. Um, successful ventures in business and in love, but you gotta stay where you're at. Okay, so don't don't leave there. All right, your outer influences. These are the cards that are coming in, um, or the cards that are very close to that are out there, but they're called, they're they're waiting to come into you. I have the eight of clubs, the snake. Calm things are going to start to come to you, so that's great. Um, things are going to start to calm down. Not going to be such hustle and bustly type things. Uh, so that's great. It can also mean a earth sign, so it can mean a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, so that can be uh, a, the person that's coming in. Uh, King of Hearts hand in hand. This is a friend that, um, it's a, uh, they may be coming in. It's a friendship that's going to warm into something more than just a friendship. It's going to maybe turn into a love uh, type of thing. If you are married, this means you are married to your best friend. The next card I have is the three of spades. This is the pig. This, um, is the best card in the deck, it's the number 10 card. This is good, phenomenal luck. Uh, great abundance is coming in. You have high honors. Uh, everything that you are looking for, you will obtain. Four of spades. This is the eye. And somebody is taking great interest in you. Um, your friends are taking great interest in you. People are watching you. Um, this signifies, uh, you know, that your friends are watching out for you, um, and, or you may have, um, that, that, uh, what do I want to say? That admirer, you know, that secret admirer. I have the nine of spades. This is the rose and this stick indicates beauty and rugged health are coming in. The Eight of Diamonds. This is the broken glass. And this is, um, you're not going to be as lucky in the lotto. Uh, putting your name in drawings. Um, gambling. Things along that nature. You're not going to be as lucky as you once were in that aspect. Nine of Diamonds is the heart. This signifies great joy is near. So great things are near, great joy is near, it's coming in. And the last card I have for you is the four of clubs. This is the key. You're going to have success, but the success is um, going to take you a little bit of work, okay? Um, kind of like, like it is here, the key. You know, you want to unlock that door. You know, you want to lock the door so that you can get to those riches on the other side of that door. So that little bit of work that you need to put in, that little bit of effort um, that you need to put in um, to get to that success that's coming to you. So that is awesome. All right, let's talk to universe. Universe, what is it that my cancers need to you know, that clarification. Give me that clarification into that reading. Give me um, clarification into that reading or add to that reading for me, please.
One more. Is that all you want to clarify? You guys got two cards, but they're good cards. Okay, we have Winter Solstice and we have the Rainbow. Okay, so the Winter Solstice is all about reflection, right? It's about um, taking time to reflect on the things that have happened or the things that you want to happen. Take time to reflect on yourself and what it is that you really, really want. Um, you know, that um, sometimes we don't uh, look and we don't really know what we want. Um, but this is the time that they want you to just, um, you know, reflect on that. What do you really want to accomplish? What is it that you really want to do? You know, and and then once you do that, and once you find all that out, you have blessings coming your way. You have that beautiful rainbow. You have that pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. But you need to take that time. You need to take that little bit of time to, you know, reflect on everything. You know, things in life happen for a reason. You know, and we need to think about that. We need to look at that and say, okay, this happened because of or I did this because of. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, you know, reflect on things. That's awesome. All right, so let's talk to a spirit. Spirit, what is it that my cancers need to hear for the week of the 22nd through the 28th? Give me a card they need to hear. Dearest you, we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken you to reach some of your goals and that you've had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune in to the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality, but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now. Change is the only consistent. So be open to it. You will achieve your dreams and more, we promise. But more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet commitments. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? So your spirit is sending you love. They um sending you uh faith. Have just have faith in that. Um, you know, you've been disappointed. Um, we've all had disappointments in life, right? Um, but you know, we have to learn from those disappointments. Take that deep breath and say, okay, you know, um, that happened because of, you know, have the gratitude that, um, you know, that, that stuff happened be for a reason, you know, things are temporary, you know, think good things are going to start to come your way. Um, happy rewards are on their way to you. Um, you know, those small moments, those little things are the ones that we need to, uh, you know, is where we're going to get the biggest joy from, you know, that small little kiss, that, that, you know, that gentle breeze, you know, those nice 
little things that, you know, come into life are, you know, that's our journey. That's um, what creates us. That's what makes us happy. Those moments, you know, those special little times in life. Um, they're coming to you. So good things, guys. Um, that's awesome. So let's do you one more card. And this is your reflection card for the re week. Got this clip. Your mantra card. I trust the process of life. Oh. I trust the process of life. So trust in it, guys. Um, you know, there is a rhythm and flow to life. And I am part of it. Life supports me and brings me to brings me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. I trust the process of life. So that is your mantra card for the week. Um, guys, I hope this helps you. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing end of March. And until next time. Mwah.